What up, YouTube? It's Big Lou tapping back in with what to do with Big Lou. And uh, this coming September, September the 17th, we got the trilogy. We got uh, Canelo Alvarez going up against Triple G for the third time. After the first fight was considered a draw, we had 115-113 uh, Canelo, 114 split, and one, uh, excuse me, 113-115 in Triple G's favor, 118-110 in Canelo's favor, and then 114 split. The second fight, we had 115-113 twice for Canelo and a 114 draw, so he won that. Okay, so they're going to fight the third time now, and I just found this out. They're going to go ahead and fight at um, at uh, 168 for the super middleweight titles. He's the un uh, Canelo's the undisputed right now, king at 168. Triple G currently holds the IBF and the WBA middleweight titles, which are not on the line. And um, Canelo's 32 years old, 5'8 and a half. 168 pounds with a 70 and a half inch reach. He's 57, two and two. So that's 57 wins, two losses, two draws with 39 knockouts. And like I already mentioned, he's the king at 168. So that means he holds the WBC, the WBA, the WBO, the IBF, the ring magazine uh, strap and the lineal strap. So he has everything at 168. So he's the king undisputed. Recently, he was the pound for pound number one. In some lists, he's dropped to four. Some lists, he's dropped to two. Some lists, he's dropped to three. It just depends what list you look at. And he's going up against Triple G, who's 40. He's 5'10", uh, 160, like I said, the WBA, IBF middleweight champ. 70-inch reach. He's 42, one and one. So that's 42 wins, one loss, and one draw. Those are both coming to, uh, to Canelo. He's got 37 knockouts out of his 42 wins. And he's currently, like I mentioned, the IBF and WBA champ. So I seen his last. I seen both their last fights. Um, Canelo couldn't get with Bival. His technique, that Russian, that Eastern European technique, uh, was just too much for him. He was too strong. Um, uh, he started depending on just the one shot, hard shots. He wasn't moving around too much. He was flat footed. I don't know if it, the, the weight going up to 175 messed him up, or if it was a combination of that. Uh, the skill of Bival, I don't. I, I couldn't tell you. I, I don't. I really think. I don't think he should rematch him i think he should just concentrate on what he's doing at the 168 if he wants to go uh, maybe catch weight for charlo and maybe benavides uh, he can fight but maybe charlo catch weight for charlo and uh, uh that other guy uh, andrade uh fight some of those guys uh triple g i watched him fight Murata and he took the I, I believe he took the wba belt from him um didn't look like the triple g of old yeah you can still see the power um, but the movement, the head movement, the footwork, uh, all that wasn't there. So my prediction here is going to be Canelo in a, 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 a unanimous decision. Uh, split decision or unanimous decision, but it's going to go all 12 rounds. I don't believe he, he's going to knock him out. I believe Triple G's got too strong of a chin. And I don't see Triple G knocking out Canelo either. Um, I just don't see. I, I just see. You can see that the 40 years old on him now. You know, it shows. He's 40 years old. I don't believe he's going to be able to... Uh, to make anything happen there, you know, and um, I was real curious if they were going to be fighting, if Canelo was going down to 160, back down to 160, if Triple G was going to come up to 168, or maybe a catch weight that's 162, 165 or something, so uh, I still don't know about that, I don't know if Canelo, uh, Triple G is just going to come in at the 160 and fight whatever he weighs when he gets on the scale, or if he's actually going to get up to 168, but definitely the belts, all four, all the belts are on the line, that's what, from what I read, so it should be a good fight. Uh, you know, three, four years down the road from the second one, but it should be a fight. All right. So with that being said, Big Lou, I'm uh, tapping out with what to do with Big Lou. And catch us on the no-fly zone tomorrow on the live. All right, everybody, tapping out.